The new APC chairman was a founding member of PDP and a two-term PDP governor, DG Adianju. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Comrade DG Adianju, popular human rights activist on his Twitter account to share his opinion concerning the candidate that emerged as the national chairman of the APC at the convention that held yesterday. In his tweet, Comrade Dejadi and noted that Senator Abdullahi Adabu, the candidate that approached as the national chairman of APC, was a founding member of PDP, the political party that was in charge of Nigeria for 16 years. He also noted that Abdamu Abdullahi was a two-term governor under PDP. In conclusion, Deji said the senator becomes the national chairman of APC and this scenario is the real definition of 16 years of PDP. He then congratulated Senator Abdullahi Adamu. Senator Abdullahi Adamu is a 75-year-old indigenous of Nasara State. He was the governor of the state from 29th of May 1999 to the 29th of May 2007. Four years after his tenure as governor of Nassau State, he decided to represent the people of Nassau West Senatorial District at the Red Chambers in 2011. He won the election and, it was, and he has been the representative of Nassau West from 2011 to date. Prior to his election as the governor of Nassau State, Abdullahi Adamo was a pioneer member of the National Party of Nigeria, NPN, in the 70s. He was also a founding member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in 1998. Abdullahi Adamo has been in politics since 1977, and this shows that he has years of experience in Nigerian politics. I think DG Adi Anjo is trying to say that this is PDP happening to Nigeria again, because Abdullahi Adamo is a vital part of the 16 years reign of PDP, now, we voted for change and we still have the same set of people in charge. DG Adianju Post reads, Abdullahi Adamu, founding member of PDP, two-term PDP governor, senator, becomes APC national chairman. This is the real definition of 16 years of PDP. Congratulations to him. Wow. Okay, for those who maybe you did not, um, you don't believe me when I said APC is PDP and PDP is APC. Are you now seeing that things are now becoming crystal clear? The same set of people. How are you going to move forward? Previously, I was saying, okay, this should not affect us, but hell no, it will. It will affect us. Imagine the same people, the same analog set of people, the same people who are still in the 18th century is coming to rule, you know, they're coming out to be in charge. Let the youth come out, let the youth come out. Do you know how, how, how much it costs? Especially in this country of us that without a godfather you cannot move forward. That is why even the youth, even the ones you're calling the youth, those who are governors, they are finger licking their god, their godfather's leg, feet or hands. Yes, it is that bad. It is that bad. The youth should come out in politics. It is not that easy. These people don't make it easy for you. They want to be at the helm of affairs till the end of time. And I keep asking myself, what exactly is their plan? What exactly? Is it that, okay, fine. You know that, okay, fine, these people are elders. What exactly is that plan? Previously, even if you see an elder who is at the helm of affairs, you are going to be relaxed. Why? Because you say, okay, this person has experience. This person will not want to make a mistake. Huh. This is not what we signed for. It is looking like it is not what we signed for at all. I'm sure many people did not see this one coming. All the parties and their members are recycled. Exactly. I totally agree. Recycled set of people. Recycled set of people. In the PDP, the active ones are recycled. In the APC, the active ones are recycled. 
the ones that are not PDP, the ones that are not APC, those ones that they're not where, which pressure, which resources, who will blow their trumpet loud for them? The PDP and APC are, are one, correct. Just that they have different labels, it is still the same criminals jumping from one ship to another. They can only change their names, but their true identity are indelible. Bam! That is what they call confirm. Nothing. So it is like <laughs> Nigerians, we are just saying, hey, it is happening again. It is, to, to, to me, I'm like, <laughs> what? We should not be looking forward to anything new. We should not. It is not going to look like we should be expecting something new. What do you, what do you, what, what's, what new thing do you want to expect from a digit, for me? I mean, an analog computer that you've been using for a very long time. Do you think it will start performing miracles? No. To come in with the same way, the same way I've been using it, it will only do the things that analog computer does. And to even make it worse, the analog computer is get is old. So that means it will even the function will be greatly reduced. It will be greatly reduced. Hmm. This is why I've been saying that there is nothing like PDP and APC. Both are one and the same. The only difference is the crime. No human government that can eradicate human problems. Only God can remove human suffering. My dear, my dear, don't, you, you don't, let me see, he, he can remove human suffering, but he will not come down from heaven. He will not come down from heaven. I don't know what exactly we have done. Well, in Nigeria, I know we have committed a lot of atrocities. I know. But I don't know what we have done that is seeming like we cannot be forgiven. We are being reprimanded over and over and over again. What a shame of unserious people, in fact. It took out the seat of a man and people. Yesterday is gone. This is today, and we are looking for tomorrow. Imagine you waking up to the fact that the resources you have with you are resources you have used, as in their leftovers. You have used them before, and you are looking forward to a new project. God knows deep down if you're that kind of person in your mind, you'll be like, oh no, hell no. Hell no. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. Say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.